Hi everyone. Uh, today we will see how talent T unit component works. The purpose of T unit component is to load the data, whatever available in multiple sources or multiple files. And it acts as the union or uh, which is available in Oracle SQL. In the following example here, example, you got a requirement to load the data, customer data, which is available in Oracle database and a flat file. So these are the two different sources. If you want to load these two different sources, whatever the data available in these two different sources to the target table, then we can utilize the unit component where it does union all of all these two different data sources. For example, in the following example, I have taken three flat files. If you see the three flat files has different data and I want to load these three flat files into the employee table. So I can utilize the unit component, which unions the data of employee 10, employee 20, employee 30, then it loads into the employee table. So let us see step by step how a unit uh, works. So let us go to the talent, create a job. So here I'm taking an employee table. Instead of customer, I will take an employee table. So create the job. Uh, okay, right click on the folder, right click on the folder, create the job and here, job, employee, local, load, employee data from multiple sources. I'm providing the description also the same thing. Click on finish, then you get. So the job is created. Now I need to load the data, whatever the employee table available in Oracle database. And I will take one flat file as a source and I will, I need to load the data into Oracle ta a Snowflake table. So here I want to load the data, whatever available. I what are the sources I'm constrained. One has Oracle table and this is my metadata. I have created already Oracle connection and I have EMP table here. I'm taking TDB input. And one more. I want to consider one more source is file input delimited. Here I have the file. This file is a CSV file and each and every column is separated by comma and I have first row as a header, okay? So this flat file, I want to combine with the employee table, then I need to load into the Snowflake table. So here in the component, in the component, you can provide the file path. My file is available in employee, okay? And uh, here, Every column is separated by comma and I have a header. Okay. Right now, there is no structure I did not select here. I did not select the structure yet here. Okay, we will see. Then I need to combine this to T unit. Okay, T unit comp uh, component I need to combine. Row, main, I'm selecting. Okay, and file input delimited also, I want to. Yes. And I'm taking a T map. Okay. And uh, T unit component, I'm linking to T map. And I need to load the data into the Snowflake table, which is employee. Pull here the employee table. This is my target. So I have to select TDB output. Okay. Then uh, link the T map to employee and provide. A label name I provided and my target always has to be truncate and load. So I am selecting the table action as truncate. I'm selecting the table action as truncate and output action as insert. I want to insert the data. Okay. I want to insert and before inserting, I want to truncate. So table action I have selected, output action I have selected. Okay. Then now in T map, I have to so I did not get the column list yet. Okay. The structure I did not get. Edit schema. Okay. So whatever the structure available in the target table, I want to copy paste or whatever the structure available here in this employee table that also I can copy. I can copy. Okay. So this is my structure. Okay. Number worker, worker, number, date, number, number. So you can copy. 
you can select these columns you can select these columns then uh, you can copy okay and uh, the similar structure i can provide i can copy paste for edit schema here you need not to add every column one by one uh, instead you can uh, by because the structure of both are same for me if the structure is same then you can uh, copy paste otherwise you can add the column and you can add the data type manually okay so here this is considered as big decimal let us check the target table schema first let us check the target table schema let us check the target table schema why because my data type has to be matched with the target table so this is integer if you see if you see my target has taken as first column as integer second string string then integer only these two columns i have considered as a big decimal so let me copy the schema structure from here instead or else you can change it manually or else you can change it manually so here the first one is considered as uh, employee number is considered as big decimal change that to integer change that to integer why because my target data type is integer here okay and the manager also i want to consider as integer and department number also i want to consider it as integer okay and uh, copy this Paste it. Integer string string integer date big decimal big decimal integer both are matching. Okay, click on okay. Yes, yes. Now here in T map, you need to auto map auto map here hide date. Okay, cross check both the data types are matching. integer string string integer date big decimal big decimal integer left side and right side data types are matching okay perfect and if you want to know how tmap works exactly uh, there is a separate video you can go through it and uh, if you want to know how the oracle connection and snowflake connections are created there is a separate video like uh, oracle to snowflake database load there is a separate video you can go through it so here uh, i want to just uh, describe how t unite component works here okay so and here one more thing so here in this file my the date value is available as dd mbon yyyy hours minutes seconds in okay so this format we need to provide in talent otherwise it throws error otherwise it throws error example if the format is not matching it throws error here if you see the format which is considered as ddmm but here i have dd month in three digit so it is not two digit i have month in three digit so provide mmm yyyy then uh, hours minutes is mm ss if this format is not whatever the format you are providing here is not matching with the input value then it will throw error and t unit always works as union all for example if the same record is available in two sources if the same record is available in two sources okay that record will load that two records will be loaded if the same record is available in two sources then it will load two times it doesn't act as union it always acts as union all it doesn't ignore the duplicates basically so type mismatch is occurred uh let me cross check uh, the schema one more time uh, integer string string uh, hide it okay this is working hide it date a big decimal big decimal integer department this is working employee number e name job uh, okay this is working perfectly let me cross check here the data type whatever provided 
integer string string integer date this is working perfect <coughs> let me run one more time type mismatch looks like the data type of this is causing an issue let me cross check the input data type for this yep here you can see this is taken as bit decimal that was the reason let us consider as integer and uh, department number also i want to consider as integer Uh, MGR also I want to consider as integer. No, let's run. It's running now. So in my EMP table, if you see, select start from EMP. In my EMP table, if you see, I have 14 records. All my 14 records are combined with three records which are available in the file. And before loading into the target table, I have selected the truncate option. So that means the existing data is truncated and it inserted. So that means 14 plus three records, almost 17 records needs to be available in my MP table. So let me go and cross check here. Order by employee number. See, if you see 7782 is available in my database. 7782, if you see, let me write order by department number, comma employee number. So if you see, by is missing, sorry. Yeah, double seven eight two is available in uh, my database, Oracle database source, and uh, double seven eight two employee record is available even in flat file. So it loaded twice. So total number of records, it has 17. When you execute this, it will show total number of records, how many we have in Snowflake how much time it has taken to execute this. And uh, if you want to know the further, what are the steps it has executed in Snowflake while loading the data into employee table, all those you can see here. For example, last day, I will take the last day. Okay, so first what it is doing, it is truncating the target table. If you see before loading into the target table, what it does, it truncates, okay, see here delete command is executed okay so from where it started it will create a temporary table okay then uh, you can see then whatever the data available first uh, it loads whatever the data coming from the source system it loads uh, it will put into this file okay uh, and uh, then it creates a temporary table which matches with the target table whatever we selected in the job here in this job, my target table is employee. So whatever the structure matches, it creates a temporary table. The purpose of temporary table is this table will be available only will be active in that session. When the session is ended, this table will be lost. So that is the usage of temporary table in Snowflake. And uh, then it will copy the data available in this file path into this temporary table. And from the temporary table, it will, in, it will insert into the actual table, okay? So these are the steps it has executed. So internally, before loading into the target table, every time Snowflake creates the temporary table. Always it creates a temporary table and from there it inserts into the target table. These are the steps it has performed whenever you're running an ETL job and loading the data into a Snowflake. So these are my two sources, which is combined using unit component, but it acts as union all. It doesn't ignore the duplicates. If the same record is available in multiple sources, it will combine them. For example, how many sources you can take as many sources you wanted. For example, I will take one more. I can copy this component. Okay, 
and I will change this file path. One more file I will take employee 20. Okay. Then again, I will copy paste one more component. And uh, here now in the place of employee 20, I'm taking employee 30. So that means now I have how many? One, two, three, four. I will right click this main unite. And I will do right click here again main and I will link to the next component. So I have four different sources. Whatever the data available in four different sources, it will load into the target table. Run here, click on that. So now the data available in employee table will be combined with employee 10, 20, 30, three different flat files will be combined with employee table and it will load. So total 25. 14 file, three files here, six, uh, three rows in this file, six rows in this file, and here also there are a couple of rows. Total 23 is loaded. Let us see. And before that, what steps it has performed, if you want to know, you can see here. Before loading up the data, it has to truncate. So it will execute and delete. Whatever the data coming from source system, it will put this into this file path. Then here it will create a temporary table. Then again, it will copy the data available in that file path to this temporary table. Then it will load into the actual table. Then it will commit basically into the actual table. Then it executes the commit. Earlier there were 17 records. Now it is 23. You can see the count 23. Every record is available as twice here. Why? Because it doesn't ignore the duplicates. It acts as union all. So union all will never ignore the duplicates. It blindly combines the data, whatever available, then it displays. The same way T-unit component also combines the data available in multiple data sources, but you have to make sure the data type is same. Otherwise, it throws error. All the uh, columns which is coming from the source component, data type has to be the same. Multiple components, which are like uh, the columns coming from multiple sources, the column data type and number of columns has to be the same. Then the unit can combine the data and it loads into the target table. I hope this is clear, but if you want to ignore the duplicates, then you need to make use of the unique row component. Uh, there is a separate video how the unique row component works. How can it be utilized? Uh, you can go through it. If you have any questions or queries, you can mention in comment section. I will reply. Thank you.